name is Paul McCartney. My favorite podcast is Lucky Time Explosion. Wow. Boopy doop boop boop. Boop doops, floopy doops, and <laughs> cottons of floops. Welcome back to Lucky Time Explosion, everybody. So glad to have you here. Uh, we are joined by his Morgan, as always, and his neighbor, Al. What's up, Al? Hey, guys. Hey. We got Al. Oh, yeah. So there's some news in the city lately. Everybody's talking about the Met Gala. Mm. When, have you gone to the Met Gala, Morgan? Oh, I just recently went to the last one. I paid $70,000 for a ticket to walk down the red carpet. No, no. How'd you get a $5,000 discount? <laughs> I did a few things I rather not talk about. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> it's in the news now because um and a lot of people have been talking about it for the last few years because they see it as this kind of like symbol of wealth inequality. Uh they see like a bunch of people paying 75k to go get dressed up in million dollar dresses on the red carpet and they're like, "No, you idiots <laughs> because I was for free in yeah. the news." <laughs> in the nude but there's some things in the past a couple of years like we had aoc's dress that says eat the rich and then that model uh who was dancing with mayor adams uh <laughs> she wore that dress that said peg the patriarchy and got like a lot of accolades and also a lot of like blowback for it being stupid maybe aoc was being literal maybe she's a cannibal <laughs> and she's literally just like, you, like know what? A, you know, any rich person that has disappeared in and around the time of that dress. Well, mm. she's probably killed them and eaten them, <laughs> <laughs> which is my hope. This is satire for the le- for the legal team, which was just a joke for legal purposes. Yeah, I know um, nothing. But the Met Gala was started in uh, 1948 by um, someone named Eleanor Lambert. It was a fundraiser uh, for the Costume Institute's annual opening, actually. Mm. So uh, it was $50 to attend. But in 1948, $50 was probably a lot more money. That was when my pappy was born. And Craig yeah. Lappin believes in mermaids. Craig Lappin does believe in mermaids. That is, uh, that's Lucky Time Explosion lore for you. Mm. But So there's been a lot of like anti-Met um, Gala sen- sentiment in the city lately. Mm. And well, somebody by the name of uh, Michelle Joni is doing something cool about it. They made something called the Metro Gala. So I would like you guys to take a quick look at this. I'm gonna put this on the screen here. This is the Metro Gala. So the Metro Gala was held in Union Square and it's a bunch of people in costumes uh, coming out and holding a red carpet walk for the average person often surprising them coming out of the subway with a nice round of applause. Yeah, I wish I was there at the time. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty cool. I like it. It's super positive. It's super cool. It's fun. Uh, and look at these look at these outfits. I think they're cooler than the Met Gal outfits. I have a robe <laughs> on. Talking about my dystopia t shirt. <laughs> Stress yeah. builds character. You need man. some sequins for that though, you know? You yeah. gotta get it like shiny. Maybe Put some gold leaf on it. Cut the sleeves off. Oh yeah, mm. there you go. Nothing says class like cutting your sleeves <clears throat> off. That's like Morgan and I at home. Yeah, but I don't <laughs> think it's class. It's a for me it's a necessity. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, you're too I, buff. No, your thick arms burst out Yo, of the seams. I actually have like that, like get, I, I'm like a gangly ripped. Like, <laughs> no, yeah, like people are like, you look lanky, and then I'm like, You're like check this out. I'm like, <laughs> all of a sudden, like all flex. People are like, what the fuck? Nice. I good, good to have some mountains. muscle tone under there. I unfortunately am like the Pillsbury Doughboy because I like cheeseburgers and I'm not shy about it. So I got That's, boobies and I love a gut. That. That's, that's all right that, no no works for it, me dude i like it because if i uh, go overboard in the ocean i'll float easier <laughs> i don't have to work so hard but to stay also, like, just grab also onto like, my leg okay also like like <laughs> cannibalism like life or death situation you yeah. are the first to go my dude Shit. that's true aoc <laughs> would have it out for me i gotta yeah. watch out when i'm around her yeah don't let her see your bank <laughs> account because we all know you got the big numbers my man <laughs> we know you're rich yeah, if you're you hold them back. As long as you remove the the negative, the minus symbol in front of my bank account, then I'm loaded. <laughs> yeah, 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 Sam. Like I'm like I'm like skin and bone with like a negative bank account balance. Yeah. I'm like the lowest down on the list. Of well, we're the regular people, you know. We're the Metro Gala crowd. Yeah, I remember That's when right. I uh, a few years ago, I my mom was driving me back home. Uh, from upstate New York back into the city uh-huh. and I uh, went to get her gas and pay for it uh, only to find that I was negative 2,000 something dollars. Oof. 
But then I made an eighteen hundred dollar art sale. Oh hey, shit! Back word. to two, and it got me closer to the green. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's good. Whoopsie. Yeah. Well, there's it's always never enough. Yeah, there's always an excuse to spend money, and uh, some of those are holidays. You know, we spend a lot of money on the holidays. I was say mm. drugs. And you know what that means? That means I'm forcing a segue into my formerly least favorite segment and now my favorite segment the holidays of today every day has like 1500 freaking holidays and we're going to read a few of them for you All so right. you know what day it is i do it's may 23rd yes if you forgot what day it is and i wouldn't have known unless i looked at my phone and that rhymes <laughs> anyways it is National Taffy Day. A Ooh. candy I don't like. You guys love them. I do love taffy. I love, love saltwater taffy. taffy. I love saltwater taffy because it comes in barrels. And That's any right. food that comes in barrels is good. Pickles, saltwater taffy, pink slime. Delicious. And then we talked about whiskey. Oh, yes. Whiskey There's also whiskey. comes in barrels. So, um, taffy, I, I, I love, but I won't eat anymore because I don't, I mean, with the Crohn's disease, I don't do uh, like refined, like I try to avoid refined sugar. But the thing is, also it has pulled out like parts of teeth that I've lost. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't like it for that reason. It's very flavorless. It tastes like like wax and, and it may rip your teeth out. And I don't like that feeling. Yeah. Like you know, you have taffy dreams. is soft. It's not soft. That's depends. like chewing. It fucking, really depends no. on it depends on the manufacturer. No, I've well, had soft and I've Al, had. Al, I have that's to true. say that's interesting. You bring up your Crohn's situation because it's National Crohn's Day. Oh, happy! I don't know if it's happy, but National Crohn's Awareness Crohn's Day. And well, it, it Crohn's and colitis. It means that we appreciate day. you Go for fast. your Crohn's. Yes, thanks for coming on and roughing it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a really common affliction. I yeah. know a lot of people. It's, it's like, like one in a hundred or something 100%. like that. Yeah, that, that's. Yeah, it's I unfortunate. I don't, I don't actually know that number. What's going on with our guts, yo? And my Aunt Linda. Shout out to my Aunt Linda who yo, has Crohn's. Cool. She's I wanna, badass. I want to hang out with her and like we smoke all weed out. and talk about Jerry Garcia. Yeah, let's I hang out, Aunt Linda. We're, <laughs> we're going to have you on the show next. Do you think you're I'm deadhead? Not, I don't know. No. Aunt I'm Linda's a Jerry a Garcia head. I like uh, the Jerry Garcia band more than I like the dead. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm yeah, a friend. He played a Travis Bean the entire time. I'm obsessed with aluminum guitars. That's cool. I'm yeah. Friends with one of Jerry Garcia's daughters. That's very cool. Yeah. What's up, Keelan? Hey, it's been a minute. Um, mm. She's really cool. She's funny because um, she is actually uh, kind of like the opposite. Like, you know, you'd expect like a deadhead kid oh, to be yeah. like hippied out or whatever. But her whole bag was like being like a 50s housewife. That's what she you know, She's always wearing kind of a rockabilly outfit. So me and her really would have had vibes. a lot in common. Yeah. Because I love dressing like a 50s housewife. You do. You dress like a 50s housewife right At now. Home. At home, you're no, dressed I'm, as one right now. There's curlers under getting, that hat. Morgan, let's play a show together where you're behind the kit and you're dressed like a '50s housewife. That's <laughs> is my. That would be my dream come true. That would actually be f so fucking. But cool. what's more insane about that is that today is also National Drinking with Chickens Day, and according what? to this, it says this National Drinking with Chickens Day. Let's celebrate with a cocktail or two. <laughs> oh, Worst puns. joke. They're Shitty nature's joke. candy. I guess if you have a chicken, uh, my brother Dylan Lappin and his girlfriend own a pet chicken. It runs around and poops everywhere, and they must drink with it. So they're vegans, and they drink with the chicken. One of my favorite um, artists that I, I know, know, Kim Tateo, she's a great abstract painter uh, out of Beacon, New York, and she was in charge of the chickens at uh, uh, Governor's Island. There's chickens at gov. There are. there are chickens at government. Wait, what? There's chicken. Why? There's like a chicken coop at Governor's Island. She was running that shit. Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. <laughs> I did not I know. I think that, now she's Helen and goats up in Beacon. Goats, and and there's one more thing I have to tell you guys. I I've been holding this back for a while, and I I, I figured now's the best time to do it on this podcast and uh -oh. tell the truth about something about me, oh something Lord. that I I happen to enjoy. What's that? Mm. I like turtles. It's National Turtle Day. <laughs> Woo. Hey. You know who would love that is Amanda Wu, uh, environmentalist, artist, and uh, starter of podcast stuff here at the studio, actually. So go check out Amanda's podcast, What Does It Mean, with Amanda Wu. If you want like a more serious, uh, you know, kind of vibe. I like to characterize this show as a cross between NPR and Howard Stern. 
<laughs> I grew yeah. up with Howard Stern. I know. And, uh, you know, even when he had a TV show, he was on E! He was on oh, yeah. all sorts of stuff. But he kind of lost... Baba Booey. Lost it. Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Baba fa, Booey. Fa, fa, fu, hai. Yeah. <laughs> and just so many variations of the Baba. That's true. Uh, and that his John beautiful K horse interview, teeth. Dude. But wait a minute. I, I, I want to rewind a little bit because I need to know more about drinking with Chicken's Day. What the hell is that? How does that happen? I don't know. I'm going to click on it. Yeah, what does it say? I don't Re think it le leads you to any... Okay. It just okay, says have actually, a cocktail? No, 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 no. I'm going to drink it. I'm going to drink it. <laughs> oh, I already drank it. But anyways, National Drinking with Chickens Day occurs annually on May 23rd. It was founded by Kate Richards, who is the author of the book Drinking with Chickens, Free Range Cocktails oh. for the Happiest Hour. Her specialty is creating Instagram famous cocktails with ingredients found fresh in her garden. Oh, shit. Oh, that's nice. National Drinking with Chickens Day is a celebration of the farm to table, farm to glass movement. <laughs> Sorry. The day was created. You asked. The day was created as I a did. means to celebrate the community who has flocked to the Gordon Happy Hour tradition that Kate has created. It sounds like some lunatic who doesn't even know what she's <laughs> talking about somehow. We got to figure whoa, out how to whoa. create a I think, national. I think. I think. Don't be. Don't be jealous of Kate's accomplishments here. Don't, yeah. Don't take it out on the, the cocktail chicken lady though. That's kind of cool. I what don't are, understand this though. It says Richards rose to fame on social media around 2016 yeah. because of the popularity of her blog and Instagram profile, which featured her cocktail recipes and chickens. Uh, so yeah. does this mean that like you're you're eating the chicken with her drinks? No, she likes to hang out with chickens. I think. There are a lot sure? of cocktails that actually involve raw egg. You know that you ever had like a couple like I'm an egg so drunk? So confused. Traditional at this point. whiskey sour. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, they have one egg. of the bars I worked at where you made a whiskey. Sour. No, I think Did you ever right. have to do like the egg white yep. separation thing? Yes, sir. Nice. Do you do it in no. front of people or do you yeah. behind the bar? No, you had to do it in front of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brandon, I think you're yeah. correct. What? According to Richards, you do not have to ha wait. You do not have to have chickens or a garden to partake in this quirky community's custom. Any garden lovers will suffice. Dogs, cats, and other humans are welcome. So basically, it's not just, it, it's physically drinking with chickens in your proximity. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, and, it's drinking but, but, around chickens. It's but, not like drinking while you're eating chicken, you animal, you monster. You're going to eat the poor little cute chickens? You don't eat chicken? No, I eat chicken all the time. I, eat chicken I love chicken. <laughs> I do oh too. Oh my God. So <laughs> yeah, no, it's confusing. But like how many people drink with it? You know, like, hey, little chicken. Like That's what's up? Uh, have a whole drunk conversation with the chicken. Be like, how's your life? How's the kids? How's the family? And they're like, burk, burk. Yeah, so I guess it depends on how drunk you are. But well, I, yeah, that's really weird. What I think is interesting we're talking about here is the blog. You know, saying talking about blogs in general. I've really seen a, a resurgence and like a kind of a prediction that we're actually, and this makes me happy too, because like, you know, Web3 is and Web2. Web2 is basically um, platforms like Facebook or YouTube or whatever that we're on now. Right. Um, but Web3 is supposed to be like, crypto infused internet stuff and web one was like the old school personal website and the blog and now blogs are coming back a little bit yeah there's, there's always a, a cycle of there's that. a bit of a return to kind of web one every, aesthetics every like motherfucker that. who's like check out my sub stack oh, or yeah, sub someone stack. gives you a sub stack recommendation <laughs> i'm yeah. like I like you like die a little it. bit more on the inside uh, every time someone Fucking does Wait, that. I don't actually know. I have like no basically what Substack is. Can you me explain neither. it to me a little bit more? Like, what is it? Is this just a blog format? Uh, I, uh, I guess. I broke so. Al. Dude, <laughs> like, like, you think I'm going to fucking check out your Substack? How dare you? But by the way, check out uh, Lucky Time Explosion Substack. Like and follow it. No, I'm kidding. No, we don't. Yeah. We don't no, have one no yet. Substacks. We, we don't need no Substack. We don't need no stinking Substacks. Well, nah, I want my stack to be like. Above, like the, above the stacks. zenith of stacks. Oh, maybe I <laughs> should know, be man? letting this idea be known. We That's should, maxi stack. We should we should start above stacks. Above stacks because we want to fuck the subs. <laughs> I'm a sub. Ascend the stack. <laughs> but uh, yeah, maybe we should you know above above stack. I would just like to see. Yeah, I want to see more. I like all the content I'm seeing from like small art creators, like Art Revival and. Um, like all these different kind of like art blogs where people there's that one collector guy Do you know who I'm talking about the kind of weird like southern collector guy who's always talking about? 
Uh, he's showing off his collective on uh, collection on Instagram. I'm going to put a link here in a video. Uh, maybe we could even watch a really quick clip. He's kind of funny. Why is it that so many people don't seem to understand contemporary art? I think one reason might be that they just give it a glance. And to really understand the art, you need to pay attention to the details. The details tell the story in so many works of art. And I'm going to illustrate that with some of the works that I have in my collection which I don't really consider a collection. We'll address that in another bid. Anyway, uh, I like his stuff and I like uh, the kind of direct to creator thing. So having more web one esque stuff where the creator is actually in full control of it, not of their own platform is way more possible now and really cool. And I'd like to see more of it. I oh, missed the days. I of love the... that. Di like, you know, like direct to like any sort of like direct to Direct to consumer, direct to fan, right. kind of like I mean, like uh, I don't know, like I I guess like Fugazi, that whole like punk rock like DIY thing. Fugazi yeah, definitely, had, definitely. Like, such a fun fact. Um, that's actually an acronym. Right. It stands for fucked up, got ambushed, zipped in a body bag. Really? Yeah. That's what it, I knew it was an acronym. It's from Vietnam, yeah. Ooh, and that's, that's worse it, than FUBAR. Yeah, 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 dude. Uh, which is, like, why I think, I'm like, that's a fucking sick band name. And, like, the whole $5 show thing. And right. The, the, you know. Well, speaking of, like, direct uh, content creator yeah. and $5, uh, we, have a, we have a Patreon. Go check out the Patreon for the rest of the show. Yes. Check it out. It's hot. It's whatever you want it to be. It's yeah. your dream come true. But yeah, what have you guys seen any other news lately? Anything you want to talk about online? Because I've been seeing, I like the Metro Gala has been probably the coolest thing I've seen this week. Hmm. I'm not sure. No? I'm usually sleeping. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, oh, yes. Actually, there is. Um, I'm going to rewind back to this. So I watch uh, MMA. Yeah. And... Um, that's yeah, mixed. The, um, that is mixed material arts. That is <laughs> mixed martial arts. UFC. Uh, United Federator. I can't think of anything funny for F. Yeah. So, what's going on in the UFC world? There is a, a guy named Bryce Mitchell. He's oh, a God. good grappler. He's a yeah. he's an amazing grappler. This but, isn't this is in contrast to the Metro Gallatin, which is a very queer hold friendly on, hold, LGBT hold, awesome space. Hold on a sec. Joe mm -hmm. Rogan's head kind of looks like a basketball that's been in an unair conditioned garage in Florida for like twenty to thirty years. I he's seasoned. That. Yeah, he tastes good. If you lick like, that man's like, scalp, like that guy's. Face. I forgot he was even part of UFC for a minute. Yeah, His yeah, like, podcast well, yeah, has people, been so long. He's well, actually a good the, announcer as far like, as UFC here, goes. Here's the but. thing. Like, everyone's like, oh, like, cool. We'll, like, diss on his podcast, but we'll be like, but he's so, like, but his redeeming qualities. He's a, U, like, a great UFC commentator. He is. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the thing. And but I'm he was like, also I, great I, in I news fucking, radio. I, I, he was good in news radio. Yeah, that's but true. like. Can't deny it. Ah, man. The. Uh, well, let, listen, listen, listen to this. So oh, there's yeah, so, this UFC fighter. He's he's from the South. I forgot where. There's exactly. so so this uh, just to frame this a little bit for you guys listening. Um, this is <laughs> the pretty much opposite end of the cultural spectrum of our amazing Metro Gala, where we celebrate diversity and life. Uh, and this guy's getting some heat for this tweet he wrote about homeschooling his kid. Which, as a homeschooler, uh, I can. Uh, this makes me sad. Yeah, he <laughs> says uh, his son Tucker is going to have to be homeschooled. Why is he, why is he going to homeschool his he son Tucker? He says we're going to have to homeschool all our kids. Yeah. Because they're all going to turn up gay. Oh, the schools are making the kids gay. They're I've heard turn, that before. Public schools are going to turn to gay. He says, <laughs> I don't yep. want him to be a communist. I don't want him <laughs> to worship Satan. And Ooh. I don't want him to be gay, Mitchell says. Well, you got to take them out of public school, then everyone knows they're teaching the communist gay Satan class. He says public schools have been re have been replacing the Bible with the works of Edgar Allan Poe. Oh no, not who's Edgar Allan Poe. Shacked up with his cousin. Oh God, that dirty man. Yeah, and he said, "My son ain't gonna be reading no Edgar Allan Poe. He's <laughs> gonna be reading the Bible. And if you don't teach these <laughs> things to your kids, he's gonna be fed right to the devil." Oh my God! The culture yes. war really has like reached a fucking fever pitch, hasn't it? 
I suppose so. He it's fights in the crazy. name of Jesus. <laughs> I just love that he had to throw communism in there too. Like, there's such a weird. Yeah. What the hell is up with Satan this connection? Is a it's not only it's it's like LGBT stuff is like equated with communism lately, and that's just a weird connection to me. I don't get that fucking at all. Like, I mean, where is that coming? I think maybe because it's like they're more liberal bent. So they're kind of more on the left and you get more of like, you know, socialist, communist esque types for people who are like open minded to certain things. But like it's it's so funny how much it's tied to you have like people protesting um fucking like drag time story hour being like, Go back to communist China and like, what are you talking about? <laughs> we're not we're Americans. We're so like our our most leftist people are like on like, you know, far right in the rest of the world. I think people don't realize that. It's like you're, we're very like even being a centrist here means like you're probably pretty far right on the spectrum yeah. of global politics. Fuck my life. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my wife. Oh, my I God. I didn't wear my That's Borat shirt, me. dude. Oh, my God. Borat was funny. Well, no, I have, a, I have a shirt that says Borat voice my wife. And it's got like a very close up like black and white picture of his face Mor- morgan <laughs> loves it's it it's very I'll, metal yeah if i have to like if i'm if i'm ever back on I'll, I'll wear it yeah for sure oh speaking of metal we have new and t-shirts we're gonna be getting some t-shirts soon we have a fancy new design for stickers and shirts i hope you guys like this because as patrons you're gonna be getting one look at this that's crazy isn't that cool Hopefully i think it's fucking within cool. the next month Within a, wor- a month's worth of time, these will be ready to go for all you Patreon lovers. Yeah, we'll be shipping you out some toys and goodies. So yeah, we have the magic on its way. That's exciting. What are what, what are you working on, Morgan? Are you still working on your huge collage? I am working on my huge collage. I keep on talking about it. It will be done soon. But I have also been working on my penis collage. Ooh. I just teach need to collect more content it's gonna be awesome mm-hmm. uh, i had some great photographers uh eva mueller was one of the photographers she is an epic photographer uh lucy um collage lucy sunflower lucy sunflower nice. and um my uh friend Haley. yeah who has a tooth problem Oh, geez. Oh, I just got some bad news on email, but slash good, not terrible news. Uh, I was really excited for our guest next week because we were going to have Swoon on. Right. A pretty well-known street artist. They just emailed me and said they have to reschedule. No. But but rescheduling is not not coming on. I'm going to have to punch myself in the crotch. (laughs) I said I wouldn't plug anything. Go for it. But I I am working on a new album for, uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, Coming back to do some more music. So, Al, Coming back to life? What are you going to do? Yeah, what's the, yeah, yeah. Al, what's the, what's the, what is your musical it? past? Mm. Tell us a little bit about like, yeah. your journey. Well, the, the, the new project is called uh, Anxious Pacer. It's the closest thing I've had to a solo project. Um, so, I mean, I, I guess I'll only really delve into um, my, my time with... Uh, playing bass and, and wives um, because, uh, you know, I guess that's the most um, well well publicized. Yeah, whatever. I've heard of that band. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not the one related to No Age, but we did get the go-ahead from those guys. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, You're back at it. You've been taking a hiatus. You said that you intentionally kind of um, yeah, took, retreated from the scene, from the spotlight for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It took a little bit of a step back and took a breather. I was like, I was really burnt out. And I, I had to, you know, I had to take care of myself. Yeah, self-care yeah. is important, kiddies. Do it. Yeah. I don't do it enough. Take care of yourself. Take care of your health. That's like, you know. Brush for, your damn teeth. First and foremost. For your health. First and foremost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love checking out with Steve Rule. It's one of my favorites. Classic. Um, yeah, so... Um, oh, we recently... Check this out. Speaking of uh, Tim and Eric, we recently got a sit on you guy, uh, Palmer Scott, to give epic. us... To sign us an autograph. He gave us a shout out on Facebook, too. <laughs> we love you, Palmer Scott. You're That's awesome. Bath. Yeah, I love I love it. I love that whole Tim and Eric scene. Yeah. yeah. What, what were your musical inspirations? Um, well, I, I guess on this... Or who's the hottest band right now? I mean, Your favorite. Uh, okay, so I mean, the okay. I think the Jesus Lizard are working on a new album. 
Oh, really? Good. Okay. So some of my favorite active ones right now are Kowloon Walled City. As Morgan. Yeah, knows. we saw them live um, at St. Vitus. Rest in peace. No more St. Vitus. Eh, no more Kowloon really either. Yeah, yeah, they tore that down. Yeah. Um, years back. Um, so uh, the Proto Martyr. Um, they're they're a big one for me. And just more, look at Al. You know he's the guy to go to for music Rex. Yeah, yeah, and 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 <laughs> and, and, and and Morgan's gonna hate me for this, but Sweet. um, chat pile. Uh, y- like uh, I, 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 music's good. Can't deal with the singing. Yeah, really? yeah. And I think, love Jesus Lizard. Yeah, but I just he, can't he do thinks Chad he Pyle. sounds too much like the, like a you know he sounds I don't know. too much like David. Not too much like David Yao, but like no, going for I don't know what I don't know. He's trying, but it ain't happening. <laughs> I like. I know it. The vocals are you know like I can't hey, do Bob Dylan. People. I can't do Neutral Milk Hotel. I get it. I, I, I don't like. I don't like that. it. It's annoying. I, to I me. totally get it. That's the one that like I get a lot of hate for. People are like Neutral Milk Hotel over the ocean or whatever is like the greatest album of all time, no, and I'm like I don't like no, it. Man. No, I, I, they, <laughs> I'm on board with you actually on that yeah. one. And Bruce P- Springsteen, I'm sorry, I can't. He's got one a good can't. album. Can't Nebraska. Just listing off bands we don't like is like the fastest way to get our subscriber count going I lower. I can't do the Bruce. <laughs> and Just then like, of course piss I like all our viewers. Well, no, like I'll, I'll like talk about bands that I like, you know, yeah. like and and I'll like I'll totally, you know, let's yeah, keep it positive. Like, seriously, like no, I'm kidding. I did. Calhoun Walled City doesn't have like a huge like not yeah, following it. Well, I know they have like a cult following, but like you know, they 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 deserve more recognition. You yeah, know? I'm. I really hope there's there's another, uh, um, you know, Slint reunion show. Mm, that would be that really would be awesome. that would be really nice. I'll need um, to check out Kowloon Walled City just because I'm fascinated so much by the history of the actual walled yeah, me, city in oh, China. Me too. That's an amazing place. If you haven't heard about it, here's yeah. a picture of it. And Kowloon, Kowloon was this like basically ungoverned block of just no regulations, no, you know, they just built it on top of itself. And so it's this network of dark mazes. Everywhere you turn is just another dark, long hallway. When did hallway. they take it down? When, when recently. was it destroyed? It was recently. Not super duper because recently. if you want to look was up some, not? we should show I'm some gonna pictures find out like of the inside because it's pretty epic. Like yeah. it was a place that it was just like buildings built on top of buildings and top of buildings. It, and it, it was like, basically governed by criminals. Yeah. yeah. Dude, and it's just yeah. like all these little alleyways and it's very interesting. And there's it, not, there was nothing like this ever. Oh wow! They, they it looks it. like a, like a, this huge, down. almost like a, like a, like like it's built out of like shanty town, like she. Yeah, geez, you're like. you're really right. Uh, God, this is just me being old. Like uh, things that happened twenty years ago yeah, are like not say, are like, not are recent to me still. Wait, it's, no, it's it happened twenty years ago. Ninety four is when they tore it oh, down. Wow. They had plans to start 30. demolishing it in eighty seven, but they didn't get it done until ninety four. So yeah. a lot of people that lived in as yeah, you know, very densely populated. Oh uh, my God! Area. Yeah. I think it's because the the history of it just persists for so long. Like there's even a band named after it now. The my first introduction to it was actually via the video game Shenmue 2. Oh yeah, oh, Shenmue. There's a whole section that where you go deal. to Kowloon yes. in that game, and it was like the coolest level. And I was like, is this a this is a real place? And I looked it up, and then I saw this crazy history. And I was like, what the fuck? You're, this is awesome. You're, you're a Sega head too. Oh dude, I am okay. I'm like the Sega head. I was one of the oh, first kids man. to get um, Sega Channel. Oh, that's Did you so get the 32X? Cool. Yeah, I had the 32X at Sega Channel, and I played Shit. every single Sega game like uh, at least twice through Sega Channel. Sewer Rat? I grew up Did on like Sewer Genesis. Rat? No, Real I didn't. Heavy. The C- oh, my God. Sega CD. Yeah. When Sega CD oh. came out. Oh, those are great. Yeah, CD and Saturn were both pretty dope. Yeah. Um, Dreamcast was so ahead of its time, and it came out. The it route. really was. That, that's what buried them. Oh, Dreamcast, Soul Calibur, same, baby. We got to keep yeah. ahead of the time. Uh, it's actually, I'm, I'm having fun. We got to have you back because uh, it's our time's up. Thank ah. you so much for joining us. Is there anything else you want to plug? What are you you're working on? Um, say the name of your band again. Uh, new project's group? called Anxious Pacer. There should be something out later this year. Sick. You should be playing some shows. Some Keep sh- an eye out and for I'll Anxious be Pacer. With that, so. You will. Ooh. You will. Yeah. All you right, be guys. On drums. Thank you so much for sticking around and joining us again. We'll see you on Friday. Peace. Hasta la vista. Ah.